Good morning students. I am Vetri Chevi from Vetri and Vetri Need Chemistry. Today I am going to give the topic is atomic structure topic belonging to from up here 6 and 9. Okay. Listen children, this question seems to be slightly easy. Even though it is easy, it is given in the NTA. So you should know what level of the question. It may be a tough for the some students also. So just you should know aware of the cosine level. For that purpose it is given. Now let us go to the cosine. Appear 6, cosine number 14. The most probable radius in picometer for finding the electron in the helium ion is. Yes. Okay, they are asking radius in picometer helium. So now let us go to the thing. What is the formula for radiuses? This is the formula. Radius of where any ion is equal to any one in the nth orbit. This is the nth orbit is equal to 0 0.529 n square divided by Z Armstrong unit. What is n is the orbit, Z is the atomic number. Here it is helium plus. So n is equal to consider as a this n is equal to here n is equal to 1 because the this is having the electron which is only one electron it is available the first shell so n is equal to 1 and the index helium the atomic number is 2 so z is equal to 2 now let us substitute so n squared 1 squared and the 2 is written what is Armstrong unit is 10 power minus 10 meter what they are asking is the unit in the picometer they are asking so to convert the meter into picometer what is picometer is 10 power minus 12 meter is equal to 1 picometer. So to bring this minus 10 to minus 12, what we can do is if you are multiplying the 100 means, automatically divide by 100, that is 10 power minus 2. So on that purpose, here I am multiplying, divide means 10 power minus 2. So now it's become 10 power minus 12. And the purpose is to convert the meter into picometer. Now the remaining things are very simple only. 52 divided by 2 you are getting 26.45. 10 power minus 12 which is nothing but a picometer. So your answer is 26.45. This is your answer. So cosine is very simple. Only the one trick is convert the meter into picometer. Remaining point is simple. Now we are going to the next cosine. Appear 6 cosine number 15 topic is atom. So here the atomic structure lesson it was given. The number of electrons in the Cl minus ion. You can take it as a block, P block cosine also. Let it be whatever chapter knowledge is. Very very simple. Number of electron in Cl minus. Okay very simple. Atomic number of chlorine is 17. 17 plus 1 electron 18. Okay just a fraction of second you can answer it. Next we are coming to the since it is chlorine we are answering anything else given me the trick to find out the atomic number should be known that is the knowledge you should know okay now coming to the here appear 6 cosine number 27 the number of the nodal plane in a px orbital is here the formula is Number of nodal plane is equal to simply the is equal to L. L means azimuthal quantum number. This is the formula for the nodal plane. Okay, now what is the azimuthal quantum number is given here is Px. The orbital is labeled as a P. Okay, now the values of azimuthal quantum number, all the orbitals are given. S, P, D, F, 0, 1, 2, 3. Our position is P. So, its azimuthal value is 1. So, your answer is 1. So here trick is number of nodal plane is equal to azimuthal quantum number. That trick itself enough. We are coming to the next question. An electron, this is appears 9, question number 21. An electron moving with the velocity of V is found to have a certain value of D Broglie wavelength. The velocity to be possessed by the neutron to have the same de Broglie wavelength. Now we are having two particles. Here it is written. Electron is de Broglie formula. What is de Broglie formula is? Lambda wavelength is equal to Planck constant divided by the momentum that is mass into velocity. 
<coughs> so this is written for the electron which is having the wavelength of the lambda d broccoli. This is written for the neutron and that is he both are having the same wavelength. So this relationship we are having. In this formula, Planck's constants are same getting cancelled and we are asked to find out that their velocity of we possessed by the neutron. So they are asking velocity of neutron. So this is the cosine. Now there, from this we are writing the relationship. This one we can write. Mass of electron into velocity of electron is equal to mass of neutron and velocity of the neutron. Then keep the velocity of the neutron as a cosine. Bring this one. Okay, now what is a mass of electron into velocity of electron divided by mass of your neutron. This is the way you can find out. Next in the sum, there is no velocity is given regarding the electron. So I am keeping as it is there. That is velocity of neutron by velocity of electron is equal to mass of electron by mass of neutron. Now substitute the value of children. You should know the data of mass of electron neutron in your fingertip. Because in the sum NTA the data is not available. So from your mind you have to write. So you should know. Mass of electron is equal to 9.1 into 10 power minus 31 kilogram. Mass of neutron is equal to 1.67 into 10 power minus 27 kilogram. Okay, now this is on simplification. That is 10 power. This one on cancer. Simplifying 10 power minus 1. This one you can. That is 9. 9 divided by 2 is so you are getting 4.5. So exact division you are having the value of 5.449 into 10 power minus 4 is the answer. But we are seeing in the option we are having something else is that related with 1840. Here how we can eliminate is my answer is 5.449 mean you can go okay, if you are bringing us like this 10 minus 10 power minus 4 mean that meaning or after 4 digit that is 0 0.0005449 that is such a small number we are getting as an answer. Okay small number keep it in the mind small number. This is numerator itself you are having bigger number so it cannot be the answer. Here this cannot be there because it is a bigger number. Whereas here this is the, there is no number eliminate. So what is the thing is only this is you are having. So my probable answer is this is. That is V by 1840. Now let us confirm this answer with my answer in what way it is coincidence. Now for that I am bringing back work I am going to do. What is the answer is given is v by c that is called the, the velocity which is given is yeah they are bringing here so velocity of electron divided by 1840 we can write as a velocity of electron and keeping here itself that means 1 by 1840 you are getting to be equal to this we have to confirm of course How, what we can do is this bringing as a decimal mean here 4 digits I am division mean so it is multiplied by 10 to the power of 4. Now you can write this one as a 1 divided by 0 0.2 again to 10 power plus 4 become minus 4. What is 1 by 0 0.2 is equal to 5 into 10 power minus 4 that is the what answer we are getting. So like that you can approach the answer children. This is for verification only I did it. So since we can understanding meaning you are able to follow it. Simply after getting you can select this answer. Prepare well children. Thank you students.